absolutely love plan that for planning out my social media content over the past um, few months plan that has come out with some really really cool features but today i wanted to highlight the placeholder feature planning out your content has become much much easier in my um, booked and busy planner i normally write out in the social media planner section because i'm still a pen and paper type of a girl um, but i map out what i want to post for that upcoming week well and plan that with their placeholder feature they allow you to kind of put those placeholders in here so you can know exactly what you're going to post come back and replace it with the actual content so let me show you how what you want to do is click on the plus button. Here you'll see all of the normal features are up here. The collections, if you save different things in the collections from Dropbox, from Google Photos, from, hit that by accident, hope from Google Photos, from Google Drive, to free content, meaning stock photos. If you wanna connect your Canva account and pull your content that you create in Canva, you can, and then definitely uploading. You also have um, an opportunity to click on all apps and take a look at some of the other apps that you can use to pull in content. But today, for the purposes of this um, tutorial, we're gonna talk about this placeholder feature. So you wanna click on placeholder. If you have already um, gone into uh, plan that and mapped out any strategies, you can definitely click on one of those down at the bottom. But let's just say you haven't. Um, you can always click on add custom and put whatever the name of that particular placeholder is. So let's just say for tomorrow, I wanna do a watch me work reel. You can change out the colors if you want to. We're going to stick with this purple thing, but you can switch out the colors if you want to and hit add. And it's going to bring you back to this area right here where you want to map out your content, right? So if I wanted to, I can put in the caption, um, go ahead and add any hashtags, location if I wanted to. So I'm going to keep it as save as a draft and hit create post. So now I see that the watch me work reel is listed here. So this is just a reminder to me, this is what I want to put, what I want to place here. Now, because this is a reel and I actually do want to post a reel for this, when I do post it, I'm just going to click on reels and upload my actual reel. But I want to put a placeholder here as a reminder. This is what I want to post for tomorrow. Same thing with Wednesday. Maybe I want to highlight um, a client, right? So I want to show client work. So I'll grab the client work one, hit add, save as draft, and create post. Now, when it comes time to actually post the content, of course, you don't want the little placeholder still there. So when it's time, I just want to click edit, and I can hit plus and go ahead and add the actual content that I want to go there. I hope that this was helpful. I'll be posting some other videos talking about all of the amazing new features that are in Plan That and other platforms that I use. So make sure that you subscribe and that you like and also definitely share.